Hello and welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we are going to talk about Python and other important characteristics of object-oriented programming, that is property. So it can be used as a getter and setter in the case of object-oriented programming for the setting the value and getting the value of your attribute. So before defining and going into the detail, what this property, which is basically with this annotation, property annotation is, let me first build why this is needed in our coding so first of all we'll just take an example and let's make a class for that so I'll say just a Celsius class which is responsible for converting and basically it is Celsius and first function as always it should be init method which is our constructor and let me just pass your self and the temperature and this temperature would be O which is our basically so let me just type insert here which should be temp so it's a default value here as a zero so let me just go over here again and let me just set this temperature to be temp which is our class variable to be temp with this normal variable or the local variable so next is to convert to Fahrenheit so I'll just say Fahrenheit and in this Fahrenheit you just pass self and over here we'll just return by just manipulating this temperature so we'll just say self dot temperature and in order to manipulate you have a formula to convert from the degree to the Fahrenheit that should be multiplied by 1.8 and it should be added with this 32 value so now we have class this is Celsius and we have two method over here init method is generally taking the temperature from this object and basically we convert this to the Fahrenheit using this simple mathematical calculation so now it's time to save this code and let me just press here 5 in order to run this file or a module so let me just create new object here so I'll just say man which is basically the temperature of the man and I'll just say Celsius and this is creating the instances of this class which is basically our man object so when I just say man and I'll just set the temperature of the man let me say temp so let me see over here it should is temp so temp should be now set as 37 which is basically a degree and let me just get that temperature for now so I'll just say man dot temp is 37 over here and basically now it's time to convert to temperature that is Fahrenheit so let me just pass this method over here it should be foreign and now let's call this method then you could see we have something that is Celsius object have no temperature obviously it should be temp not the temperature it should be temp so let me save this one one more time and let me run it again and let me just create the object that is same object over here let me just copy this down and let me save this over here first of all and I'll just get the temperature to be set is 37 and let me just convert this to Fahrenheit so it should be Fahrenheit and let me just press this down then you could see this is the temperature that is converted to our Fahrenheit so this extra basically decimal place over here you can see it is when converting into the Fahrenheit and it is due to the floating point arithmetic error and we can just add 1.1 and plus 2.2 in the Python interpreter in order to remove this one so we won't be doing that but whenever we assign or retrieve any object attribute like in this case we have a temperature we can have many attribute what if I just say what is the name of the man or object that is this temperature of so it can be like a man or name of this uh, animal temperature so it can be anything so any attribute can be in this class so basically we can just retrieve any object attribute like here in which is in this case the temperature is basically using this dictionary so when I just say save this one so basically we'll make use of this dict which is basically our dictionary special function so let me just remove this one and let me save this one and run it again 
let me run it one more time and if i just create this object which is basically our man object over here and if i just press enter and you could see our man object is created and if i just want to check the attribute of this man object that means if i just see what are the attributes of this man then we can just use this dict over here and if i just press enter then it becomes temperature is 37 so it has temp variable or attribute over here that is the object attribute and it has temperature of 37 which is stored as a dictionary in the python interpreter so therefore this man temperature man the temperature that is our temperature which is basically in this man dot temp is attribute so it is internally saved or internally it became something like man dot dict which is basically a dictionary and we make use of this dictionary to set the temperature so it should be temp over here and let me just go back again here and it should be something like temp and let me show over here so if you just say something like if you call this man dot temperature to be 37 then it is same as saying something like let me go over here it is same as saying man dot dict and you just pass here as a temperature which is temp in this case and it is assigned to be the 37 in this case so that you could get something like this which has seen in the console so let me just run that again for you and you could see here we have something that is if you done this man dot dict then you are getting this dictionary which has attribute as temp which is basically our class attribute and temperature value is 37 which was passed while calling this object of this class passing this 37 to the celsius if you could see in our program it has a limitations it cannot be basically for the more ranges so it is basically if i just say save it and run it one more time and if i just create that is man here which is basically the next object over here and let me say celsius with different degree let me say something like minus 273 degree so if i just give this temperature and if i say that man dot temp then you could see it is just accepting this value which is minus 273 degree which is valid in the case of celsius if i just say minus 300 degrees centigrade which is not valid because the range of a celsius is till minus 273 degree but if i just say man dot temp then it is saying minus 300 degree so we don't have any restriction or a range in this celsius you are accepting any value of a range from this value so it has no restriction one faithful day our trusted client basically came to us and suggested that when this temperature cannot go something like minus 273 degree and basically a student of this thermodynamics or physics might argue that it's actually minus 273.15 which is a absolute zero value for this celsius but we further asked basically how to implement this value constraints because our program is just not having these limitations to the input it is just taking every range of value to the celsius so being a company that is strive for the customer satisfaction we have to now hear the suggestion of our client and we have to just change the code to this existing class which basically has the constraints in order to add or in order to get the input that is within the range and basically in order to do that what we need to do is we have to make use of a getter and setters so if you want to give the solution to that problem which is suggested by the client which basically gives the range in order to take the input and based on that range you have to take the input from the user and it is not valid to take beyond that range it can be implemented using the getter and setter so one approach can be this temperature attribute should be private so if you just make this private that means it is not allowed to assess anyone directly from the object or make the modification to this temp attribute outside from this class so you can make use of getter and setter which is basically your method of this class in order to get and set value of this class attribute so let's take the example how this getter and setter can interface to manipulate the value of our class attribute so first we'll just say get temperature which is our getter and i'll just say get temp and i'll just pass self over here and it will just return us that is temperature 
it should be self dot temperature because it is our class attribute so next is our setter and set is basically the next method which is going to set the temperature so as always the first argument which is default argument to this class would be self and next is the value which should be set to this temperature attribute so i'll just say if value to be checked so i'll just pass a condition that is if the value is less than minus 273 degree that means if you just pass something like minus 300 degrees centigrade that means it is not valid it should be minus 272 and more it should be not lesser than this value inputted by the user so i'll just raise an error so it should be some error you can pass your own error so you can also build your custom error handling and you can also pass something like a value error over here so i'm just sticking with this value error over here so i'll just say temperature below that is minus 273 is not valid so i'll just print this message over here with this value error and now next thing what you can do is we'll just set the temperature that is our temp variable over here to be something like let me say it should be it should be temp and it should be value that is given in this function which is set temp so if you could see here this temp is basically your attribute which is private attribute so so if you have a single or double entry score before your name of the variable or a name of your attribute class attribute then that is said to be the private variable or private attribute and we have already talked about this private attribute in the previous lecture and now it's time to make some modification to our constructor so what you can do here is simply we call this set temperature so we want to make this set temperature call with this temp that is passed over here so let me save this down and let's run this code and see if it works or not so let me press f5 so let me just clear this console first let me run it again and let's first create the c variable or c object it should be object not a variable so let me just pass something like 300 degree which is not valid obviously and if i just pass this one then it is saying value error temperature below minus 273 is not valid so this was calling this set temperature so while calling or while making this object of this class set temperature is the method that is going to be called and you simply pass the temperature which is the temperature that you just give here while calling this object of the class is minus 300 so minus 300 is passed to this value and it is checking if minus 300 is my less than minus 273 if it is the case then it will just simply raise a value error saying this is the message and if it is not it will just set the temperature and you can just convert it to the foreign end so let me take the example of that so first of all let me just go over here and let me just create that is c with let me say celsius and let me just give something that is minus 200 degree which is obviously the valid case so if i just hit enter and if i just say that if i want to just check this c dot temp then you could see minus 200 over here which is basically this value but if i say something that is c dot temp so if you do something like this then it is saying celsius object has no attribute temp which is basically here the private attribute so you can just manipulate this value that is to change to foreignite so we had made use of this get temp and set temp which is a function in order to get this temperature and set temperature which is our attribute which removes or which hides the direct modification of this class attribute which is our temp so instead of just directly manipulating this temp it should be done through this getter and setter so it provides the data hiding and encapsulation to our object oriented programming technique so it is always important to know about this getter and setter so we have now successfully the restriction to our range that is the value or the input temperature cannot be less than minus 273 degree that means we have a constraints to the input that should be provided while instantiating the class object so if you see here this is the problem that might occur in the case when we make use of this getter and setter is all the client who implemented our previous class code where we didn't have any setter and getter should modify their code to something like object dot temperature and something like object dot they get temperature and all the assignment like object dot temperature to value should be changed to object dot set temperature over here 
which is this method so it should be done and basically all the refracting can cause the headache to the client with hundreds of thousands of line of code so our new update was not the backward compatible that means the refracting was not easy for the client so there is where the property comes to the rescue so let's learn about the property and see what is the importance of this property so instead of just doing this something like using the getter and setter in order to provide the constraints to our attribute now we can make use of the property so let's first see what is the syntax of the property and let's code using the property so this is the syntax of the property so here we just normally call with this property method and in this property we have fget, fset, fdelete and docs so basically if you see over here fget is a function to get a value of an attribute and fset is a function which is to set the value of attribute so it is basically a getter and setter and fdelete is to delete the attribute and doc over here is a string like a comment as seen in this implementation that we did before these function argument are optional that is this f delete and docs are optional so property object can simply be created using this property so when i just say property over here and let me just clear this console and when i just say property which is our method and if you just go over here then it is going to show you that is suggestion that is saying f get f set f delete it ducks so f get is our getter f set is your setter delete is to delete the attribute and doc is like a string and if you just run this code then you will see this is the property object having the three method getter setter and deleter to specify f get f set f delete at the later point this means we have something like you can see in this case we can make utilize of the property in order to make reusability of the code instead of just making use of these constraints or making use of this refracting to the client basically so here what we need to do is something like we have to make use of this property so let's go outside of this class and let me set temp here and let me just make use of this property which is our method and here first of all i'll just say get temperature which is our getter and set temperature which is our setter which is having the constraints and now let me just define this property over here and after that what you need to do so it should be inside this because it is an attribute of the class so let me just give a proper tab over here and after just you define this property next thing what you need to do is with this initializer what you need to give is we have to just set this temperature with only this temperature so you have given the temperature and you are getting this value so let me just go over here and print some message so that we can specify we are getting this get temperature method invoked so i'll just say getting temperature over here and let's run or let's go over here that is outside this if and let me just print now another message to the user and that will be setting value and let me just print this down so if i just save this down and if i just run with f5 then you could see our property is properly executed now let's create this celsius let me say it is c over here and it should be celsius and if i just give nothing temperature over here so if i just say empty over here so default should be zero that means when i just press nothing over here it should be default temperature as zero so we have added this print inside this get temperature and inside this set temperature to clearly observe that what are being executed so last line in this code which is basically this property object over here is the temperature so property object over here is a temperature simply we put this property attached with this get temperature and set temperature to the number attribute ss which is here temperature so any code that retypes the value of a temperature will automatically call this get temperature instead of just this dictionary lookup so every time you just call this method or call any method that requires this temperature should call that is dict 
at the previous code but now it is not required you don't have to look up to this dictionary instead what you need to go is we can just simply get this value of this temp and basically we can make or automatically call this get temperature which is this basic removal of the headache to look up for the dictionary similarly any code that assigns the value to the temperature will automatically call this set temperature and this is the cool features in the python because we don't have headache over here we don't have to look up for the dictionary for the attribute we can directly go to this get temperature set temperature using this property let's get back to the console one more time and we have given zero degree over here so when i just say c dot temperature which is temp then it is saying get dot temperature running over here you could see that is it is getting temperature over here so the one mistake what we did here was we didn't change back or roll back to the previous code over here which was basically the same code so instead of this set temperature what you can do is assign this temperature to this temperature that is passed while calling this celsius so that you can see we don't have refracting over here with the help of this property so now we can make use of this set and get temperature instead of just a dictionary lookup so let me just run this app one more time and make sure you just make change to this temperature because we are just rolling back to the code that was before we just made these changes to set temperature and get temperature which was basically just setting this temperature of the class with the temperature that is invoked while calling this object of the class so let me just run this one so if i just run and let me say the cells would be zero that is we don't pass anything over here that means temperature will be zero and it is the saying setting value over here so if I just say C dot let me just get the temperature and it should be get temperature so let me just get that temperature over here and you could see we could have that is temperature and it is getting temperature and zero which was basically this temperature over here so when creating this object the init method gets curled and we have already discussed that in the object oriented programming section the only method that is going to be called while creating the object of the class is this init method this method has a line that is self dot temperature is temperature and this assignment automatically called this set temperature over here so you could see over here we have something like setting value while creating this object so this is the very much importance of this property so property allows us to remove the headache that can be caused due to the dictionary lookup for the client let's further see about something about this annotation of this property so instead of just writing this code which is obviously the small line of code but we have another alternative so to replace this bunch of a code it can be done with this at the rate property so same as the case in the decorators where we just remove that decorator function calling with our at the rate annotation property that is our at the rate decorator function property we can make use of this at the rate property in order to replace this bunch of a code so let me just go over here in this temperature so let me just go to this foreign height and let me just set this as a temperature and let me say it should be temp and here let me just set this also as a temp which is temp and temp now instead of just going here that is instead of just making this score now we can just get into this temp and go over here which is before this function calling and make sure you put at the rate property over here which is saying that this is the property and in the setter one this is basically a setter having the same name as this getter now we can add here something like temperature so you can just put here something like temp dot setter so you can just put this one over here and now you can just remove this property so it is same as saying this code with this bunch of code that is property and temp dot setter now let's save this code and run it one more time then you could see let me just create the celsius here which is our object and let me just say it is saying setting value so let me just get the temperature and basically it is using this temp so let me say c dot temp here and when i just say that this is saying getting temperature o here which is basically calling this set over here and it is getting this temperature while we'll just get this temperature with this c dot temp 
So while creating this object of Celsius class, setting value was printed. That means this method was automatically called or a setter was automatically called. That means you do not have to have any attribute headache that was in the case of previous code where we just have to make a client to refactor any of these method but the use of this property simplifies the headache of refactoring and basically it will just implement your headache over the dictionary lookup so you just specify this property so when i just remove this one and remove this code too and if i just say here that is temp and let me say it should be get temp and it should be set temp first so if i just set set temp and here i'll just say get temperature and if i just run this code one more time then you could see if i just say c is a object that is created using this celsius then if i just say get me the temperature then it is same as before so you could see here we have get this using this annotation which was basically with this code that was using the at the rate property and it is same as saying that with this line of code so you can either use this annotation or either make use of this property which gets this getter setter and deleter and the next one would be your docs which is an optional which basically takes your comment or your string but this getter and setter are compulsory in the property so instead of this line of code i want to make use of this something like property over here that is your annotation and if i just run this code again then you could see that is we get the same value that is getting this value or setting this value while creating this object so this will be the wrap for this lecture so this lecture was really interesting because we make a uh, implementation of complete properties and we encounter this type of construct while looking for the property in the python so make sure you practice hard for this property because this property are really interesting to no so see you in the next one